Throughout the world, there are two primary manufacturing methods for concrete pavers, through body and face mix. With through body pavers like this one, a single mix of sand, cement, pigment, and heavy aggregate needed to give the paver its strength is formed and compressed in molds. One can see how the aggregate goes from the bottom to the top of this paver. Face mix pavers are manufactured with a two-part process. Like the through body method, a mix of sand, cement, pigment, and aggregate is placed into the molds. That is followed by a top layer about 3 8 inch thick that does not have heavy aggregate. E.P. Henry has been making face mix pavers, which we call Doraface since E.P. Henry first introduced them in the 80s. Cambridge uses the same process, but they call it ArmorTech. If one looks at their paver next to E.P. Henry's, the only difference is the sourcing of the aggregates. TechoBlock has recently introduced their version, which they call HD2. Again, look at the paver next to E.P. Henry Doraface paver. The comparative difference when it comes to Cambridge Armor Tech and Teco Block HD2 is the thickness and consistency of the face mix. Don't be fooled by false claims that Armor Tech pavers offer any superior features over Doraface or HD2 pavers. It's simply not true.